Introducing... The Daredevils of Hollywood. All right. Now, oh, Bill. Ready for your scene. Now, look. Here's what I want you to do. There's a girl under that big tree. The gag is for the tree to fall. You're to rush in and save the girl just in the nick of time. Or we'll have a dummy instead of a girl just in case. You see what I mean? Sure, that's simple enough. Have they uh, cut the tree partly through? Yes, it's hanging by a splinter. A few seconds of chopping will do the trick. Now look, Bill. You're not even to start running in after the girl until the tree begins to fall. It'll fall pretty slow at first, you know. Yeah, but it won't end up that way. That thing weighs several hundred tons. It's at least a hundred feet high. I know, but you're fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take it. That's the boy. All right, everybody, here we go. This is the take. Quiet, please. Quiet, everybody. Camera. Start chopping, boys. He's about to go. Okay, Bill. Hurry, Bill. Get out there and get the dummy. Quick. From Hollywood, the motion picture capital of the world, we bring you the thrilling true life experiences of those men behind the scenes. Those daring, unsung heroes whose breathtaking adventures on the screen have thrilled millions, whose daily jobs bring them face to face with death. Those men who comprise the strangest fraternity on earth, the Suicide Squad, the movie stuntmen, the Daredevils of Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, in presenting this copyrighted radio feature, we are again privileged to have as our guest Miss Eileen Goodwin, a beautiful and charming young stunt girl whose job it is to make dangerous scenes for motion pictures. It is through her cooperation that we are able to reenact some of the highlights of her hazardous profession. The thrilling scenes you are about to hear are from her own actual experiences. Miss Goodwin is here in the studio now, and later in the program we will bring her to the microphone. But first, let us show you something of her work. Our scene near the intersection of Franklin and Vine Street, just a few blocks from Hollywood Boulevard. Here, Universal Studios have established a complete location unit. A sound crew, several cameramen, and technicians with their various types of equipment. Preparations have been made for the shooting of another scene wherein Miss Eileen Goodwin is called upon to risk her life so that a thrilling scene can be photographed for the entertainment of millions. We find our director and Miss Goodwin going over final plans. Well, we're all set for your ride on the motorcycle, Eileen. All right. What's it all about? Well, you start at the top of the hill here on Franklin Avenue. You gain speed all the way down. And when you get to the foot of the hill, a car comes around the corner. You barely miss it. Make it close, you see? Mm -hmm, I understand. Then what happens? Well, then you turn the corner to the left and start down the hill on that street. You see, Aline, there'll be a lot of traffic there, and you're supposed to weave in and out and at top speed. Now, when you get to the bottom of the second hill, there's a gate. You break right on through it, and then we cut. Okay. Sounds all right to me. When do we start? Right away, right now. We'll be following you in the camera car all the way down. Okay. As soon as I get this thing started, let's go. Okay, boys. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. They're all set, Mr. Kinwell. Should we get in the camera car? Yeah, right now. All right, Elaine. Go ahead and remember, make it look good. Me, Here we go. Camera! Amen. Look at that girl drop off this hill. Stay right behind her, driver. Keep those cameras going, boys. We've got to get this. We're making at least 65. Yeah, she's coming to the corner. She'll never make it at that speed. Great guns, look at that. She missed that car by a hair. Yeah, that was close enough, all right. I hope we can make this corner. Hold on, men. Here we go. Boy, what a thrill. Gaining on us a little. Hey, step on it, driver. Speed sake, look at that traffic. Yeah, watch her weave in and out of those cars. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, she's doing tricks like a maypole dancer. Are you getting this, man? I'll see we are, Jim. She's headed for the gate. I hope she's okay. Hey, look at that car coming out of the side street. Running right in front of her. Watch out, Eileen. Oh, boy, what a close save. Another coat of paint. Say, watch that kid ride. It's a sweet shot so far, Mr. Kinwell. It's perfect. She's headed straight for the gate. And there she goes.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to present the courageous young girl who so skillfully made that thrilling scene, whose job it is to make such scenes for motion pictures. Miss Eileen Goodwin, interviewed by Glenn Hardy. Well, now, just a minute, Miss Goodwin, until I can get my breath. Hey, you know, that was certainly exciting. Yes, I guess it was. I almost cracked up several times during that run. Well, on a street scene such as that, I'd suppose that they'd undercrank the cameras and make the action appear much faster than it really is. Well, that's practical in some cases, but not for a scene such as this one. You see, when the cameras are undercranked, it speeds up all the action. For instance, the people walking on the sidewalk, other cars on the street, everything. It makes the whole scene look rather silly. I see. Then it's only possible to do that when there is no other action in the scene and when there is no background movement. Is that right? Mm Mm-hmm. That's it exactly. Well, tell me, Miss Goodwin, what do you consider the most important factor in successfully accomplishing a stunt? Well, I'd say it's having the ability to keep your head, keeping your mind on what you're doing. It doesn't do to get panicked. (laughs) I'll bet it doesn't. And that's easy to understand, too. By the way, what is your reaction while doing a stunt? How does your mind work? Well, the person who is trained for this work never becomes frightened. When he gets in a tight spot, his mind is unusually clear. He can think faster than he normally does. It's a sort of a stimulant. I'll bet it is. Do you do do all kinds of stunts? Oh, yes, practically everything. And uh, what do you think is your favorite? What would you rather do? Well, I believe I like to do horse stunts. (laughs) I've been riding ever since I can remember. Oh, you mean falls and things like that? Mm Mm-hmm, that's right. Roman drags, pickups, dives into water, high jumps. Hmm. Say, incidentally, I remember a high jump once in a picture called The Dark Angel. It was made by United Artists. You know, we were just speaking of emergencies. Yes. Well, one arose on this stunt that almost cost my life. It was on location up at Sherwood Forest back in 1934. Say, I guess I almost forgot this is radio and you operate on a pretty strict schedule. You see, when I get started, I'm pretty hard to stop. Well, that's perfectly all right, Miss Goodwin. We certainly do want to hear your story, but first, let's just have a word from our sponsor. All right, Miss Goodwin. Now, what about that high jump? Well, this picture was supposed to be a fox hunt. There were dozens of us riders that were to make the run. I wasn't doubling a star in this one. I was simply one of the crowd. The director was explaining the scene to all of us just before we were to start. Okay, everybody, we're ready for the run. Now, please do just as we rehearsed it. I'd like to get it on the first stage. Now, here's the idea, folks. I'll give it to you once more. You all gallop around the bend up there together. Then single out one horse behind another. Is that where I fall into third place, Mr. Hartman? That's right, Miss Goodwin. You'll be in third place. Then comes the big jump. You see that hedge right down there? Yes, sir. I see it. Well, you make that jump. And just beyond that is a 12-foot water jump. There's just enough room on the other side of the hedge for the horses to get a foothold before making the water jump. Now, is everybody ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Everybody watch out for falls. Anyone gets the jam, he's on his own. Get ready. Action! Hammer up! They're off in a cloud of dust, all right. Yeah, it's good work. See, watch them round that bend. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Now they're singling out fine, too. They're headed for the jump. Now, here comes our shot. There goes the first one. A beauty. Hey, that water hole makes it tough, you know it? Yeah, it's a mean jump. There goes the second horse over. And there goes a lean. Look! Look, the horse is hesitating a little. Yes, but he's going over. Oh, oh, watch him! His front leg's folded up when he hits. He's going over the somersault. Look! Eileen can't get away from him. He's sticking in the saddle. Great guns! The horse is rolling right on top of us. She'll be crushed to death. Look at that! The horse did a complete flip. Yeah. He's on his feet again. And Eileen's still in the saddle. And she's not even hurt. Well, Miss Goodwin... How on earth did you manage to escape injury there? I suppose that will always remain a mystery. But it was one of those emergencies we were talking about. I had to do something, so I stayed with the horse, went down and under and up again without a scratch. Well, that was a miracle, I'd say. Well, now, that was an accident. Did they leave that picture, that shot, rather, in the picture, or did they have to take the scene over again? No, they left it in. Although it wasn't in the script, it made such a good scene that, well, it, it was even better than it was supposed to be. Well, you know, speaking of horse races, runs, and things like that, I've often wondered how they take the close-up shots. Do they have a camera car running right alongside? Well, yes, in some cases. Then in others, the telescope lenses are used on the cameras. 
But the most fascinating and clever trick used in pictures is the process shot. The process shot? Well, what do they mean by process? Well, it's a transparent picture screen. They project the scene or background you see from the back. Yes. Then the actors and cameras are out in front. It's simply a motion picture of a motion picture, with actors in front of the motion picture that is being photographed. I guess that sounds a little complicated, but it's just about the best I can do. Well, I, I think it's fairly clear. Well, process shots are used mostly for things like, um, well, now, take a scene of a forest fire, for instance. You see, the background film was photographed from an actual or miniature fire, showing all the flames or falling trees. Then that is later projected on a process screen. The actors out in front of the screen are going through their parts as if they were actually in this roaring inferno. And it looks like the real article in the finished picture. Well, you know, that's very interesting. It's certainly marvelous what can be done nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. You know, as a matter of fact, the old saying around the motion picture studio is that nothing is impossible. Well, Miss Goodwin, we certainly have enjoyed your visit with us. It's been exciting, entertaining, and educational. And on behalf of our listeners, I want to say thank you for coming. I know that everyone joins me in hoping that we may have you on this program again very soon. Thanks a million and the very best of luck.